Hello everyone, it's me, Andrea, from Andy's Corner, and I'm so glad that you've joined me today. I just can't wait to tell you that we are starting a new book. I love this book. It's so colorful. It is called The Biggest Story, How the Snake Crusher Brings Us Back to the Garden, written by Kevin DeYoung. So let's start. Look at all the bright colors. The biggest story. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a thing because we are going to be starting a lot of new books. It's very exciting. So many cool images. I love it. Look at that lion. Ooh, chapter one. Once upon a time, there lived a man and a woman. They were the happiest people on the planet. True, they were the only people on the planet, but they were still terrifically happy. Their names were Adam and Eve, and God made them. He made them in his image. Little mirrors to reflect God's glory. And like everything else God made, he made them good. It was a wonderful time to be God's children in God's wonderful world. Whoa, look at that scary snake. Unfortunately, things didn't stay happy and wonderful for long. On one very bad day, Adam ate from the only tree God had declared off limits. Adam failed. It was a terrible day, the second worst day in the history of the world. A snake had tricked Adam and Eve and told them a lie about the fruit. He said they would be like God if they ate it, but actually, the opposite was true. When they ate the fruit, they found themselves far away from God. They had disobeyed God's word and believed the lie of that devilish snake instead of the truth. Being near to God and having him draw near to us would not be easy any longer. God was not happy with Adam and Eve. He wasn't happy with the snake either. God put a curse on the man and the woman and the snake and everything else. He kicked Adam and Eve out of the garden paradise and he had made the garden paradise that he had made for them. It wasn't possible for a people who were so bad to live with a God who is so good. They had to go. So see, this is paradise, and they're leaving paradise. But before they left, God made a promise. He promised that the evil serpent, the devil, would always be at war with Eve and her children. Now that doesn't sound like a very nice promise. That bad guys and good guys would fight all the time? Who wants to be in a war that never ends? But here's where the good part of the promise comes in. God promised that one of Eve's children would someday, eventually, sooner or later, crush the head of that nasty snake. Nobody knew when or how, but she would have a child to put things right. Ooh, and that's the end of chapter one. Stay tuned next week for chapter two. You don't want to miss it. So, so far, what was chapter one about? Adam and Eve and the snake. Now, who convinced Adam and Eve to eat the fruit that God forbade them to? The snake, exactly. Snakes are sneaky. 
I never liked snakes, but the promise that one of Eve's children would come and kill that snake is the best promise of all. So we're going to keep reading to find out what happens. So don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. See you later. Bye.